talk to you a little bit about feeders. There are tons of feeders on the market. Uh, each and every one of them has a different place in the hive. Um, so you have everything from an entrance feeder, a division feeder, and they come in shallows, mids, deeps, uh, two frames wide, three frames wide. Um, the, the amount of liquid that can be put in them all varies with sizes. So I want to show you first is a deep division feeder. This, this particular deep division feeder has floats. Uh, the floats do exactly what you think they would do. You fill this with liquid, you put in the float, the float rises and falls with the bees, giving them a platform to take the syrup with very little to no drowning. It takes up the width of one frame in the box, which is another another great attribute to this. So here's your single frame. Here's your single frame feeder. You've removed this. You've added the feeder. Your bees now have a gallon of liquid that they can access inside the hive. So your next option would be a single deep cap and ladder style division feeder. This actually is gonna take up a little more than one frame. Uh, your nine frame guys that use the spacers, you might not wanna think about this because you, like I said, you're gonna remove two frames to make this work. Um, 10 frame guys, it's gonna be a little more forgiving. It does the exact same thing that we're talking about. difference is your bees are sealed off to the tank these fit really well your bees are sealed off to the entire accessibility of this feeder which means they have to utilize this tube they get down in the bottom the tube sealed they can't release into this tank drown in a syrup or die they come down in this tube feed and return to the hive it does the same thing there again it takes up more space than the single but it does the same job with that one we go to a mid single frame feeder this is an open tray style feeder it has corrugated edges rough edges if the bees get in this well it is narrow enough that they reach one side or the other they have a place to grip to pull themselves out of the syrup this one actually fits a shallow but in a mid it, it fits it close enough um, a great feeder to use when you've already got bees established in a deep hive body. You've went with a medium super on top, and let's say it was a late swarm and nectar flow shut off and you're feeding them, no need to take this box off to put in a deep division feeder when you can get this one. Remove a frame, drop this in, fill them up. In, in one of our previous videos, you'll see me utilizing this feeder. I really like it because it fits my other boxes and I'm not tearing in and putting the feeder in the bottom. So great option for a mid feed. Um, of course, you have many top style feeders. This one has really become popular. It sets over the hole in the inner cover you merely put a blank box around it. So feeder here, empty super around it, your lid would cap it off. Has a dome which is corrugated. Bees come up through the inner cover hole, up through the, the cone, down and they feed 
behind this shield which is installed. Great, great syrup feeder. Even better overwintered idea. Y'all stay tuned for a bunch of these videos. We're gonna do a winter feed and I'm gonna show you about three different options that you can use to do that. So don't forget, stay, stay locked in so that you can uh, take benefit from this. Um, entrance feeders, tons of entrance feeders. I want to show you another top style feeder. I'm gonna show you two style top feeders. This is a four gallon feeder that sets directly on the frames and bees. I usually take the inner cover out of the equation, especially if it has a bee notch because bees from your other colonies will find that go in and drown in a tank. And you're gonna immediately wonder why you're drowning bees when it wasn't the bees for that hive, it was another set of bees. Um, they feed behind that screen. Holds a lot of liquid, great way to, for you guys that work out of town or you just, you know, you're, you leave in the dark and you get home in the dark, you know your bees are fed. This is another option, does the same thing. Bees come up through the end, over into the tank. Your liquid is behind the shield. Another great way, it holds about a gallon and a half of liquid feed. These are all spring methods but i want you to know that these are available options entrance feeders that utilize quart jars they are exactly what they say it is an entrance feeder this sticks into the entrance of the hive bees enter in from inside come up under here pull syrup through the holes in the lid you doesn't get much easier than this, but this is not a fall or winter feed program that you're gonna hear me recommend. It's great in the spring. When everything's good, it's a great way to get these, these nuke bees started, get them fed up, pre-nectar flow. Many variations of the same thing entrance feeders all of these feeders have a right time a right place in the bee yard in your apiary um, the mid feeder this is another spin to this style feeder they're both mid box feeders this is a double this puts in a this will actually put in a gallon of feed utilizing the same cap and ladder situation where you're preventing drowning. Um, those pretty well cover all your liquid feed which you're going to use for early spring buildup and late fall buildup. Um, like I said before, stay tuned to Central Beekeeper Supply because we're going to go out in the field we're going to open these hives this winter. We're going to show you how to put these, these tools into play. We're going to show you how to put feed on them. We're going to show you how to take care of them over winter. So stay tuned. We appreciate your business. Thanks again.